Ephesians chapter 6. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armour of God so that you may be able to withstand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against the enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armour of God so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on one ever you will make ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To the end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. Let my word be a prayer for you and also pray for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Be strong, exhort St Paul. But we cannot be strong in our own strength, in our own wisdom, in our own decisions. For we will find ourselves failing, for the world is much more than we can imagine. The human vessels of our bodies are limited vassal which wears out. Yet our soul, a soul of love, transcends all boundaries, even death and life itself. So we are called to put on the whole armour of God, for humanity cannot hurt the soul, or if it does, that is the greatest of sins. For normal life, though humanity cannot hurt us, our hurts are very often that which we allow. Someone criticises us and we take offence. Why? Have they walked in your shoes? Is their opinion so very important, especially when you know their opinion is based on limited knowledge and truth? So what are the spiritual forces of darkness? Let us not at the outside personify evil, not only dangerous, but beyond our realm of faith. Let us instead concentrate in this day and age of the 2020s, the modern spiritual forces we need to be aware of. Apathy, silence, greed, selfishness, deceit, love of self, peace at the expense of justice, taking the easy line, making life too simple, extremeness. And St Paul says we need to put on our spiritual armour to combat these dark forces which assail us daily, if we're honest. Put on the belt of truth. Truth is not facts, facts distort. You know the phrase, lies, damn lies and statistics. Truth gives the whole story, not just part of it. In truth, we recognise the complications of life, that moral decisions aren't black and white, yes or no, right or wrong. We are to put on our shoes. Shoes denotes movement, effort, change. Peace is to be worked for, not just proclaimed. Words that are said too much are not enough, as they are overused. Think of the caricatures of the Miss World contests. I want world peace and everybody claps. The film Miss Congeniality is a good example of this. The Shield. It is easy to fall into popularity, give the family and friends what they want to hear so we can live an easy life. The helmet of salvation for that which is important, the fulfilment of our lives, isn't in today's successes, wealth or even health. It will become after our body has gone. The sword, the word of God. Eh, This is where opinions may differ more markedly. The word, the logos, through whom things were created. Or is it the word, the scriptures? Jesus and St Paul both quoted Leviticus 19 saying, Love your neighbour is the fulfilling of the law. So the word of God is love. For those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. And pray. Pray honestly and openness before God. For the gospel is a mystery and we cannot go prepared into every situation knowing what we will say. Not even St Paul had that ability.